The Vantage Equinox sliding widget provides the ability to monitor and control every individual electrical load controlled by the Vantage system. These will typically be lighting zones, but they might also include fans, pump motors, and etc. But we will just refer to them as lighting zones for the sake of simplicity. At the dashboard layer, we have a view of up to five lighting zones. Which zones appear here will depend upon prior selection of favorite zones and is specific to each profile. We'll review how to select favorites in a moment. Each lighting zone that is presently turned on will glow in the Equinox characteristic ochre color, while each lighting zone that is off appears in white. Touching each zone object will toggle that zone, turning it off if on and on if off. A zone that is not dimmable has only these characteristics. A zone that is dimmable has the additional affordances of lower and raise buttons, and an indicating bar showing the relative dim level. Each touch of an adjust button changes the dim level by 5%. You can press and hold as well for continuous movement. Every newly created profile will show blank because we have no favorites yet selected. As we dive into the full screen layer of the widget, by selecting the discovery dots at the top right of the widget, we're led to our last view at this level. If this is our first visit, we will be brought to this favorites page, where all zones we have selected as favorites will appear. With the same first five as is on the dashboard layer on the left, and the remainder on the right, if there are more than can be viewed in the screen, we swipe up and down in order to be able to access all of our favorites. Notice that the favorites on the right are presented slightly differently with the name and icon on the left and the lower raise and right buttons on the right. Press the icon or the name to toggle the zone. Favorites is only one page of the full screen layer. The remaining pages represent the property organized by area. Next to the word favorites, at the top left we see a down arrow representing that touching the word will give us more views. As we do so, each of the major area divisions of the project that has lighting zones will appear. If we touch any of these area icons, we are brought to a page showing the lighting zones for that area, organized typically within rooms. We can also swipe left and right or we can touch the left or right edge indicators to move between areas. When we are within an area view, touching the name of a room expands or contracts our view of the lighting zones within that room. Only one room will be shown expanded at a time. By expanding a room, we have access to the monitoring and control of each of the lighting zones in that room. But there is one more element here that we have not seen in our favorites, there is a star to the left of each zone. This is indeed an indicator of favorite. If the star is ochre, as we see here, the zone will appear in our favorites. We can touch the star to toggle the status of that zone. By making it a favorite, it will appear now in our favorites page. You may notice that some of the rooms have a number, such as this two of five. This is indicating the number of lighting zones that are currently on in that room. If no lighting zones are on in the room, we see no such number. Now each room also has a button on the far right that indicates whether any lights are on in that room and allows us to toggle those lights on or off. This room button works whether the room is an expanded view or not. Now let's draw your attention to the two words at the top right of the page, on and all. These are filter buttons with the white and the ochre active status indicators. Either one or the other will be active. If all is active, we see all lights within the selected area. If we select on, it filters out all rooms that have no lights on at the moment, making it easier to answer the question, what lights are currently on? Now this filter is 
uh, applying specifically to this area and a different filter may be active on another area. Finally, we have the edit mode, accessible by touching the stack bar icon at the top right of the screen. We have two options, areas and favorites. Within areas, we are shown the major area divisions for inclusion or exclusion of that area from the profile. If we don't want to show an area, we simply touch the check mark to the right and this will no longer appear in this profile. If we touch the arrow to the left of an area name, it expands to the rooms within that area where we can individually select rooms for inclusion or exclusion within the profile. Within favorites, we can deselect a zone by, as a favorite by touching the star to the right. We can also change the order of the zones by dragging and dropping the left icon next to the zone's name. Remember that the first five in the list will appear on the dashboard layer, so simply making a favorite one of the first five is how you select it for inclusion at that layer. Now as a quick review of setting up favorites, let's switch to a newly um, created profile. We'll select some zones as favorites. Then within the edit order, we will put these in the order that we desire them. And then we can see the effect of our edits back at the dashboard layer and also in the favorites on the second layer. This concludes our introduction to the Vantage Equinox lighting widget. Thanks for watching. Like us on Facebook or Twitter so you can access Vantage updates on these social media sites. We're continually striving to provide useful information for our customers and our partners.